you have problems trying to figure out when you open that mascara or how long you've had that face cream, then the Beauty Alert app is for you. What it allows you to do is make a record of all of your beauty products letting you know when you open them and when they're going to expire. The app itself keeps the database of when things are supposed to expire, so you basically just tell it what you opened and punch in a few details, and it does all the rest. So I've added a few things. I added my Rimmel Day Tonight Mascara. The mascara only lasts three months, so my first use date was February 10th, so it's going to expire on May 12th, and it has the year. Oops. Next up, we'll go over my clean and clear soothing eye makeup remover. And you can see a picture of it there. This is a makeup remover which lasts for a year. So this is when I started it and this is when it's going to expire. Now if I want to, I can just scroll through my list like this. Or I can go to the home page and actually pick each thing. Or I can actually search my products and if I say mascara all of my mascaras are gonna come up which is really nice now, as you can see I have taken a photograph of all the items so if you wanted to add an item What you would do is you would hit the little plus sign, then you would, if you needed to change this, you would go ahead and change that. Now, the other thing that you'll need to do is type in the product type, and they have just about everything you can think of listed here. So even a lash enhancer, like something, those, all those serums that you would just brush across your eyelid, they've got lip balm, lip gloss, oh my goodness, they have just about everything. So... We'll just say a makeup remover, and then you scroll up here to write down the rest of the stuff, the brand name, the product name, the color, and then you can add a picture, and then it allows you to take a picture or choose a picture from your photo library. So if you have an older iPod Touch, what you can do is, you know, upload pictures to it and then add the pictures in. So if you've got a lot of beauty products now, it's just going to give you something generic if you haven't actually added a photograph. Um, the photographs don't show here, which I kind of wish they did. It just lets you know when things are supposed to expire, which does make sense because that's the whole purpose of this app. And, you know, when things are going to expire. So that's up front and center. But if that's something you're worried about and you would like to keep track of it, I think this is a great solution. So this is Beauty Alert and you can get it in the App Store. Shouting Wake Up is a different way to wake up, to be sure. And it also involves you having to become interactive with your phone. I mean, you just can't slam on it and turn it off you have to actually get up and do something with it which might actually make you get up so it's akin to putting your alarm clock on the other side of the room so the way it works is you press the start button and then this is where all of your alarms would be listed so you would hit this little plus icon up at the top to set an alarm so I'm gonna set it for 12:57. nope 12:58. Now you can set the decibel level for how loud you're going to have to shout in order to wake up the, to turn off the alarm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it, it's at, the, you could, the highest you can go is 120 decibels, which means you basically have to yell. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set it for 50 so I don't have to scream too much and blow out the mic here. So we're going to set it for, let's see, I'll set it for 12.59. I'm setting it for right now, so it's going to be PM. I'm not going to set the day of the week, but you can if you want to do that in the future. There are a bunch of different alarms. So we're going to set it for magical. And then we're going to set it. And we've got two minutes from now. So what happens is when you set the alarm like this, 
you can be in any application doing anything else and a uh, alarm or a notification much like the push notifications for text messages will pop up in the center of the screen wait I'm gonna set it for 58 so we don't have to wait so long now you can change where it says I am wake up I'm gonna go out of this and we're just gonna sit here for a second and wait till it's 12 58 and then what happens is you have to hold down a button and yell something into the microphone at the bottom of your phone in order to turn off the alarm otherwise if you just press close the alarm will stop but in about a minute it'll come back on so here's our alarm so we're gonna if you press close it's gonna keep coming on so we're gonna click view the app is gonna open we're gonna press okay turn off and then we'll know that it's off and then you can hit the X and then that alarm is over so if you need a way to you really need to be forced out of the bed in order to wake up shout and wake up is a good choice for you it's 99 cents in the app store everybody wants a way to keep notes on their lock screen of their phone and this is a free application that allows you to do that it's called emoji notes and there is an upgraded version that you can get that allows you to do much more set alarms you can bump your notes by sliding them to another iPhone but this is just a basic free version but it still allows you to do a lot so here I have a sticky note which you can move anywhere on the screen you can change the background of your note area or you can just have it be a color if you want after you do that you can add a note and there's a big selection of notes in my opinion a couple of shapes you can have like weird taped on sheets of paper then you can change the style meaning the font to whatever you want you can change the color of the text and you can also align the text wherever you want left middle right you can then move the note wherever you want on the screen if you pick the post-it notes you get to choose between a big post-it or a small post-it here's just a fast way to bring up a rapid post-it note you know just a quick way to get one without having to choose if you really need to write a note quickly as you can see you can overlap the notes Whichever one you touch last is the one that's going to come to the front. Now you can preview what the page is going to look like in your lock screen, which I thought was cool. Because then what you can do is like rearrange the things so that the time or the unlock slider is not obscuring your notes. So I thought that was cool. You can also save it to your camera roll to save it because, of course, what you have to do is make it wallpaper. So you would have to save it as an image to your camera and then go into photos and then choose it to be wallpaper for, in order for it to go on the lock screen. I wish there was another way to do that, but there isn't. You can just take a picture of the screen. You can post your notes, your note screen on Facebook. You can email it or here, of course, upgrade to the pain version, which allows you some more features and it also gives you a bunch more post-it notes as well as paper shades and all that other cool stuff but for just leaving notes on your lock screen I mean this does a lot it's free and if you're looking for something that'll help you do that you definitely want to grab this app is an application that allows you to turn your iPhone or your iPad into a remote for your laptop or your desktop computer what you have to do is download um, you have to download an app to your actual laptop or computer or desktop computer to work in conjunction with this as you saw it flash connected on the screen because it has picked up the app on my laptop and this app allows me to control my MacBook using the phone you can type you can scroll using the mouse so my mouse 
the arrow is actually moving around the screen right now to click and access a menu you would click down on this side and it does the click and that accesses you know that's a right click for clicking on menus to click hold and drag you click on this side hold it down and then you can drag things to I don't know why iMovie popped up I must have just opened by accident um, you can use two finger scrolling to go up and down pages so it does respond to two finger commands such as pinch and as well as any of the other two finger motions that you would use on your trackpad. The up arrow has some of the functions that the F1, F2, F3 keys have. You can also customize it to your heart's content. If you press this down arrow, you can access some of your applications that are, the applications that are in your dock if you want to open them or close them. Or you can access the keyboard. I love this app. When I got it, it was like two dollars. It was two. I'm pretty sure it was two ninety nine. And I went back today to check before I did this review, and it is now free. So for a free application, I personally have never had any problems with it not working or not working properly. It has done everything that it's promised to do, and I think it is well worth the free cost that it is now for you to download it and give it a try.